Psycho AP Physics Experiment Number 1 Measurement and Analysis Error Both the circumference and the radius of several differently sized cylinders are measured. Students graph the two sets of data and calculate the slope of the line to determine the value of the relationship between the two. Students gain hands-on experience in obtaining precise and accurate measurements. This lab teaches good data collection technique, proper length and mass measurement, how to analyze experimental results, and how to write a formal lab report. The kit includes six cylinders to measure, six vernier calipers, six 30 centimeter rulers, string, and one triple beam balance. The first lab goes over the basics that any good scientist needs to do an excellent experiment. We're going to basically be covering accuracy and precision, significant figures, how to measure, and how to use a balance. Now, the very first activity is introductory as students are measuring the diameter of a wooden dowel, a battery, anything round, a ball if you want, and just measuring that out to learn how to use a vernier caliper. And then they're going to use a scale to measure the mass, and in both instances using how accurate the tool is for giving that reading. Once the students have a pretty good understanding of what precision, accuracy, and significant figures are, the second part of the activity deals with circumference and diameter. Now in the lab manual you have several circles that the students will measure the circumference of and the diameter and then using graphing plot the relationship between the two. Now you can also use anything round and a piece of string to determine the circumference. Soda cans, quarters, um, bottles, Anything that has a different circumference you can use instead of the provided templates that are in the lab manual. Uh, the idea behind this is to give them very basic information. What's the circumference? What's the diameter? Okay, tell me the relationship between those two values. And hopefully once they graph it, they will see that the relationship is based upon pi, or the ratio of the circumference to the diameter. 